A Royal Marine veteran who founded an animal sanctuary in Kabul has made an impassioned plea to the UK government to help his staff leave Afghanistan. Penn Farthing said he would not leave his staff behind to suffer a fate that the West has put upon them. He's now asking ministers to do the right thing by flying 71 people to the UK from Afghanistan after the Taliban seized the capital city. And Penn Farthing joins us now. Evening to you, Penn. Uh, now, this morning you posted on Twitter, full of optimism. It looked like it was going to be a better day. Tell us what had happened and what has now occurred. <laughs> it's been one of the most emotional days of my life, I can honestly say that. Um, this morning, we got the news, obviously, the, the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, you know, he, he stood up for the people here in Afghanistan. He'd helped us by agreeing. You know, obviously, they'd gone through the vetting process, but our staff and their um, immediate family could come to the United Kingdom. Um, you have no idea of the elation in our office this morning uh, with the staff when they knew that news. Um, but sadly, during the day, I was kind of like, well, OK, where is our ISAF call sign? Why are we not getting that? And well, that's just, for a just flight. Just so we understand, what's the ISAF call sign, Penn? Yeah, yeah. So to get a flight, a commercial flight into Afghanistan, you must have an ISAF call sign. Um, so that's something that the military, the MOD, will give you so that commercial flight is then able to land in a military airfield. Um, and remember, this is a you know, privately funded um, aircraft. It's got passenger capability. We only want to take out about, you know, with myself, um, I think 69 people. Um, and obviously the cargo hold is empty. So underneath in that cargo hold, you can't park people. So we're going to park our dogs and cats in there. Um, you know, no taxpayer funds are going into this. Our amazing, amazing supporters are the ones who have actually donated towards all this. We've got a private investor. Um, you know, we'll get more people out. We've got 130 spare seats on the aircraft. We'll fill it with people who are entitled to come to Britain. But I've just found out the reason I'm not getting that, and, and I don't believe I'm about to say this, I truly don't. I served Queen and Country for 22 years. I served in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I've just found out right now that Peter Quinton, the special advisor to Ben Wallace, the Defence Secretary, has blocked me. He's cut me off from my MOD helpline. I had an MOD okay. helpline on my phone, so if I actually got in trouble here, I could ring somebody to say, hang on a minute, I'm on the run, the Taliban are chasing me, whatever. He has cut that line. OK, I, I mean, obviously he isn't here to, de to defend himself. No, I know. I do understand well, he, how... Then get on to him, please. How did He's yeah, left we, we a will British check national... This. He has let, well, please do, because yeah. I'm telling you right now, he has left a British national behind enemy lines with the Taliban around, and he cut my line. Um, and, Ken, just uh, tell me about your staff that you've all been there waiting all day, thinking you were going. Um, really emotional. Hi, Pen. Yeah. yeah I'm still here. Sorry, Dee. Sorry, that's all right. Um, <laughs> just tell me about everybody, because as I understand it, you had got everybody there ready to go. The animals are all ready to go. You, you thought you were getting out, and it has been a long, long, long process and a long week. Uh, we've, we've spoken to you before. And we have been blocked by Peter Quinton, has blocked this flight because he does not want people to see animals getting on a flight. I'm here and I said I would stay here to get my staff out. I'm also going to get my animals out. And we've got a privately funded flight that will take 250 people. Yet he has now blocked that. I'm, he's blocked, he's left me here on my own. I have no idea what is going through his mind to be able to do that. And you've said, Oh, he can't answer because he's not on this line. Well, please get him on right now because I'm behind enemy lines now. The Taliban are here. I've got permission to my staff. I can't get into the airport because the MOD will not talk to me. OK, well, we will that speak is, to the Ministry of Defence. That is beyond the pale. Yeah, Somebody we will, we will get in touch with the Ministry of Defence, Penn, and see what's lives. going on. They're playing with people's lives. And anybody watching this, will know how passionate I am about getting my staff out of here 
But if I've got an empty cargo hold, I'm putting my dogs and cats on there. Yeah, I'm and you've made it very clear. You've been clear out. right it from the outset, Pen, out. haven't you, that you're not leaving those animals behind? Pardon? Uh, you, you've made it very clear from the outset, haven't you? You said you're not going without your staff and without your animals. No, I'm not. I'm absolutely not. And I said always, the priority was always the people, my Afghan staff. But as I've got an aircraft, which has got cargo hold, and you can't put people in the cargo hold, and the military, the taxpayer, is not paying for that, then I will pop my dogs and cats in the cargo hold. But now to be cut off, I, before I was kind of, you know, I've been here and people said, are you frightened, Penn? I said, well, not really, because I knew I had this lifeline, the MOD, I could talk to them. That's just been cut off. I'm now on my own here in Kabul. I have no backup for the Ministry of Defence. I served 22 years for Queen and Country, mm. and the very people that I was part of have cut me off. Okay. You have no idea of the emotion that's going through me right now. Pen, Absolutely. we can't even begin to imagine um, what you are going through right there. And um, listen, keep in touch. Um, we wish you all the best. Uh, we hope you are back here soon. Uh, I and do, we will I get do. in touch with the Minister of Defence. I really don't know how I'm going to be able to do this because I have no backup from the UK to be able to do that. So whatever I do, I'm okay. doing it on my own. Um, Pen Farthing, thank you very much indeed for talking to us.